Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Windows Activation Error Code message 0XC004F015 on your Windows computer. So this tutorial will apply for Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices and typically applies to the enterprise version of Windows. And the full message says that the software licensing service determined that the specified key management service cannot be used. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing you want to do is open up the search menu. Type in activation. Best match. We'll go back with activation settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, if Windows is not activated, there would be a troubleshooting option. That would say if you're having problems with activation, select troubleshoot to try and fix the problem. You go ahead and select that button and then walk through the on-screen prompts. And then hopefully that would be able to resolve the issue for you. Something else you can attempt as well, if you close out of here, open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, check it back with command prompt, right click on it, and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, you want to select yes. And now you want to go ahead and type in chk, dsk, space forward slash r, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter. Should come back with check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? Tap the Y key on your keyboard and hit enter. So this volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. Proceed to close out of here and then restart your computer. And do not press any key on your keyboard, but I will because I don't want the scan to go on too long. So just go ahead and let that run and then attempt to try and activate Windows once that check this scan has completed and see if that has then resolved the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.